What Hello. is up? Here we are. Guys, we are here for day two of... I'm trying to reconnect. Oh, there, it's back. Day two of the very first in a very long time relational intelligence video training. I'm Amanda Renee. And I'm Matthew Cook. And as you know, or maybe don't know, we just got married. We got married here in August. And so um, we've been kind of doing the whole honeymoony thing. We've just like been enjoying ourselves and like mm -hmm. also focusing on doing our other businesses and things mm -hmm. that light us up. And so uh, very recently we decided to come back together and do like for a very short time here in February, we wanted to start sharing, especially around Valentine's Day, like we wanted to start sharing our gift and sharing the thing that we really love teaching, which is relational intelligence. And so today we're doing... Codependence Co Breakthrough. Codependence Breakthrough. Codependence Breakthrough. And codependence is kind of a, like, cliche. It's a catchphrase right now. Everybody's kind of catching on to codependence being a thing that maybe isn't so awesome for your relationship. But we look at codependence very differently. And we do. like I shared in a post earlier on my personal Facebook page, there was a photo that popped up of Matthew and I when we got engaged. And I was just feeling such deep love for him. And also as we, I knew we were going to be talking about this particular uh, module today in this training, remembered, I started remembering how things were before we learned this lesson that we're going to be sharing with you today and started really just recalling the tension that was between us. And even though there was always a deep layer of love, and that's what we see a lot, it's not that you don't love each other. If your relationship's in a really hard place, it doesn't mean you don't love each other, but it means you don't know how to come back to the love together. And so learning this lesson is really what helped us create a bridge in our relationship so that we could always come back together so that we could really understand each other. And genuinely this one lesson cut the amount of conflict that we had in half it cut the time yes. that we spent on our conflict in half so this really layers on top of yesterday's teaching so if you haven't heard the first video in this training series go, go listen back and to watch that it. and and then listen to this one because they really do pair together really beautifully absolutely and kind of and so when you when people go through our course the relational intelligence it's six modules and the final one is the never ending honeymoon. And really that is, or relational rocket fuel is another name for it. But really that's the idea is that at the end of six modules and, and really this work, but primarily I'd say the biggest, most important this factor is, is what we're gonna be sharing today. So mm -hmm. if you are in a relationship or wanna be in a relationship, this is literally the <laughs> most important video you could be watching all freaking week. So literally, all six modules, really, if it boils down to mastering what we're about to share with you right now. So, should we do it? Let's do it. All right, guys. There are two different types of people that show up to every single relationship. Mm -hmm. And who Can are I they, Amanda? Yes, you may. You may say something. When you understand this, you're going to understand why 70% of the conflict in your relationship or in your past relationships Ooh. has been there. So this is super, super important. Really, 70% of the conflict and the tension that's been Probably present in like your relationship. Probably like 90% actually. We'll go set. Let's be, I like we'll to We'll be conservative on the about conservative it. Side. Yeah, okay. Cool. So two different people that show up. You ready for this? And you're going to instantly know, most likely, which one you are. There are the freedom seeker. That'd be me. And the stability seeker. That's me. I'm the stability seeker. So immediately you probably have a sense that there's one person in your relationship, if you're in one, or in your past relationships who was like asking all the questions and was thinking about all the things and was like, what's possible? And I'm not going to take your possible structures and systems like for like the end thing. I'm going to see what's possible. And then the other one who's much more so of this, this mindset of like, let's like, Let's like really ground this thing. Let's like really make sure that we're both stable mm -hmm. and safe. And secure. And secure mm -hmm. in this love, right? Yeah. And in this relationship and in this money and in this yeah. sex and in all these things, right? Like across the board, mm -hmm. the stability seeker. Mm -hmm. And there's also, I just want to give a caveat because everybody tends to think this. They're like, there are lots like, of people. What if I'm both? What if I'm both? And the thing is, just like. I have masculine and feminine aspects in me. Amanda has masculine and feminine aspects in her. We are a combination of both. Now, what you're going to find, though, is that there's one that you are more predominant towards. Now, of course, when we teach this content in the full module, we go into all the, like, 
specifics of, of like how that can really show up for each person. Mm -hmm. But I think we can give a couple things that would be really cool, like tips and tricks in terms of... Can I start with the Freedom Seeker? Let's start with the Freedom Seeker. The tips and tricks. Matthew tips loves and tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. <laughs> So the reason this is so important, and we're going to share a little bit of our story here after we share this first part. The reason it's so important to know these things is because you start to understand each other's core fears and core desires. And the, the reason that Ooh. this one subject causes 70 or as Matthew said, 90% of the tension in your relationship is because your core fears and your core desires smash against each other seemingly yeah. it seems it's this is these are the moments where womp, you're like womp. are we even compatible like if you ever we had really that question, like, are we even compatible and a lot is there of someone times, better for me it feel it can feel like you're not when these two things are clashing and you don't know how to optimize these two dynamics and so for the freedom seeker a good way to know if you're a freedom seeker or not is if your biggest trigger point or fear is being trapped is being limited, is being held back, suffocate. If you've said a lot of times, ugh, my partner is so needy, mm. you're probably a freedom seeker. And, and then, if you're a stability seeker, we'll go into the medicine in a moment. And I wasn't going to do the medicine. Oh, I was just okay. going to say, and your greatest you your desire is freedom. The freedom, freedom seeker is freedom. Like what's possible, how much is possible, what's the fullest version of my expression, and you're very, very self oriented like your right. self-esteem is not your issue and being willing even to like give up stability yes to have to yes. have the freedom if so you're they're a freedom willing seeker, to you're going to be willing to sacrifice stability in order to maintain your freedom and even be cool with a little bit of chaos mm -hmm. like running with a little bit of mm -hmm. things kind of all over the place mm -hmm. right stability seeker flip the flip script completely the flip side of the coin the stability seeker, their greatest desire is to feel chosen by their partner. And that's also their greatest fear, that their partner is going to abandon them, is going to leave them, is not going to come back. So and <clears throat> greatest fear being trapped, greatest fear being alone. Being alone, being um, boring, being not enough for their partner. And it shows up in a lot of ways in the relationship. And again, that's where a lot of conflict comes mm -hmm. from. It shows up in money, it shows up in mm -hmm. sex, it shows up in mm -hmm. every single aspect shows up in your friends. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's so vitally important to really understand this component in your relationship, not only who you are, but also how your partner functions mm -hmm. best. Yeah, because this is kind of where the things that draw you to the other person eventually become the things that you resent the most. And so if you don't learn which um, perspective you're coming from and which perspective your partner is coming from, what ends up happening is rather than receiving all of the healing that's present and available for you, you actually end up creating more and more and more disconnection, more space between each other, more problems, and a lot of it stems because you don't understand yourself and what your triggers are and why that's happening and you don't Boom. understand Just dropped a bomb. Yeah. And so when you start to understand this dynamic, and this is just like the tiniest little scoop. When this people, is the icing on the cake. This is like most people's favorite module because when you start to understand the, the depth of understanding <laughs> and knowledge present here, when you learn this about yourself, when you learn this about your partner, it unlocks this whole new world where so uh, much um, of what... Who, who, exactly. Is that Sophie? That is. Where so much of what was just like frustrating, like blindingly frustrating before about your partner becomes really understandable and you really start to see where it's coming from inside of them so you can start healing each other rather than hurting each other. I'm gonna yeah. say that again. Understanding this one dynamic about That's yourself so good, and your man. partner allows you to help heal each other rather than hurt each other. Right, and that is codependence breakthrough that is exactly mm -hmm. and in fact that is what the never-ending honeymoon is is to be able to optimize your differences mm -hmm. rather than have them pull you apart so in fact when people ask amanda and i what do we a, a lot of people will ask like what do you guys do we always tell people we help couples master connection and communication so that they can have a relationship that ultimately amplifies and accelerates their life's purpose sophie's going to try to get all up in here <laughs> So, right, to amplify and accelerate your life's purpose rather than detract from your life's purpose. Mm -hmm. That's no good. We don't want a relationship that does that because here's the thing, guys. As you go throughout your day, 
you pick up energy, right? You pick up excitement, you pick yeah. up good things in your life. And the question is when you come home at the end of the day, when you're with your partner, does that energy get amplified and excitement and all the things that happen with mm -hmm. that? Or does it feel like it actually kind of gets sucked out of you? Do you feel like the energy is being sucked out of you? That's no good. Amanda is bringing Sophie on. We have a co-star. <laughs> co-star so Sophie. She's just down there wanting Sophie attention. Ray. So with that, guys, that is it. That's Codependence Breakthrough. And uh, we want to give you guys a sweet Well, can gift. I share a little story? Yes. Really quick. Real quick. So really quick, when Matthew and I first started dating, so this is why a really good partner for you, but actually stay soulmates like maintain and grow the beautiful connection that you get in the beginning and you know for Matthew and I we knew from well he knew from the moment he met me and I knew from the moment I saw him the second time I saw him six months later and we've always had this powerful connection but about a year in things started getting really really hard and we were had so many times of like this doesn't even like do we even make sense together together we're meant to be together but we were hitting our heads against the wall with these differences that we did not know how to overcome. We didn't know how to use them to our benefit instead of her. to our detriment. And that's where, no, I like her. You and like that's her. where learning these things about ourselves, that's where understanding, you know, myself as a freedom seeker and Matthew as a stability seeker and really starting to honor those differences completely revolutionized our relationship. There's so much more ease now present and the time frame in which we're able to get back to connection is astounding. It's it really is one of the greatest compliments that we get is that we fight really well. Totes. And a lot of that is because of this understanding we have of each other's relationships. Maybe that's Yay. it. Ew. So guys, we want to do something really special for you guys. We want to give you a gift, which is for those of you who are ready to get unstuck. Those of you who are like, I want to have the relationship of my dreams. I want to actually have the never ending honeymoon. I don't care if you're single, I don't care if you're in a couple, but you're like, I'm ready to shift this. We wanna give a gift of 20 minutes of either Amanda or my time and help begin to unlock and uncover what is actually holding back your relationship at the moment. So be a relational that's intelligence a gift. Breakthrough call. We're gonna do that for three people. So for the first three people to comment below or to message us privately, we're going to give you... Wait, I want to do it differently than that. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay, the first person who messages it and says, me please, you get one. And then, why don't we do a drawing for the rest of the people that say, I want to call. Okay, we'll do that. So... If you really, really want a 20 minute call with us, which we don't even do one on one coaching anymore, you guys, all we do is our online program for relational intelligence. So Dude, we gotta go, we gotta cut this up. Okay. Let's go. So this is super special access and we're really excited to share this with you. So again, the rules are first person to comment below, me please, you get a session. Sonella gets it. <laughs> and then for all of the rest of you, we're gonna do a drawing. So comment below, Woo! I wanna call. I want to call. That's what you comment and tag a friend comment below. I want to call and then tag a friend you think would love this training and we will do a drawing tomorrow at the end of the video to see who wins those calls. Have an incredible rest of your day. We'll talk love to you guys you. tomorrow. Oh, I did it wrong. Star Wars.